This YouTube video provides instructions on using your RSP-1B SDR with the SDR console program. Radio Sky Spectrograph software, RSS, and the new SDRC 2 RSS interface program. The new RSP-1B will not work correctly with the current SDR Play 2 RSS interface program. A new free Radio Jove interface program called SDRC2 RSS works with your RSP1B and the free SDR console software and the free Radio Jove Radio Sky Spectrograph software to produce an uncalibrated RSS spectrograph. Achieving a calibrated spectrograph will be covered in a separate video using a hardware calibrator like the Radio Jove Do It Yourself calibrator. Use the video pause and other video controls to stop this video for a detailed study and for entering the settings in your software on your computer. This SDRC2 RSS interface system requires three pieces of software, the SDR console program, the SDRC2 RSS interface program, and the Radio Sky Spectrograph software. Follow the proper sequence for starting each program First start and run SDR console. Second start and run SDRC2 RSS. And lastly, start RSS. Always use the latest version of Radio Sky Spectrograph RSS. Make sure your SDR receiver USB cable is attached directly to your computer's fastest USB port. Avoid using a USB hub. Now start the sequence by first starting the SDR console program. Wait for the program to load. In the select radio window, click on the definitions button. Click the search button at the top, then go to the pull down list. Then select SDR play. Select version 3 since we are using an RSP1B in this demonstration. Click on Add the version definition. Click on SDR Play RSP1B. Then click on Save. In the Select Radio window, click on SDR Play RSP1B to highlight it. Select a bandwidth of 8 MHz when using the RSP1B. Click Start. Next, open the View menu in the top SDR Console toolbar. Go to the far right-hand end of the toolbar and ensure the data repeater is activated. If it has not been started, click on it to start it. You only need to do this once, as the SDR Console software will normally remember all of your menu settings. Go back to the Home menu. In the top Home toolbar, Set RF gain to 9 max. Set IF gain to minus 40 dBE and visual gain to minus 40 dB. At the bottom of the SDR console window, set the left side of the gray slider to 16 MHz. Then set the right hand side to 24 MHz. These are the typical frequencies for Radio Jove work on 8 MHz bandwidth receivers, like the RSP-1B. SDR console software will remember all these settings even after a computer restart. Leave all other SDR console settings not mentioned at their default settings. Go to the right side of the SDR console spectrograph and adjust the top red slider and the bottom blue slider to see a spectrograph with a dark blue background with some white signals in the daytime. This is not a critical item. These settings only affect the SDR console display that you see on your screen. They will not affect your RSS spectrograph in any way. This completes the settings in SDR console for the RSP-1B. Place the SDR console window toward the bottom of your screen. Next, open the SDR C2 RSS program. Click on Connect. Click on Connect again. 
The SDR C2 RSS program takes the digital data from the SDR console data repeater feature and repeats it in the form and protocols required by Radio Sky Spectrograph. Set the number of channels to 512. Set the FFT window to none. If you are having RFI issues, try setting it to black mint. Set the dB threshold to minus 150. Set the gain to 1.7. All settings in SDR C2 RSS are not remembered, so you must re-enter them each time the program is restarted. Click the tiny RSS box in the upper left corner of SDR C2 RSS to check mark it. This setting is very easy to miss so make sure it is checked. If it is not checked, data will not be sent to RSS. Place the SDR C2 RSS interface program window on the upper left-hand side of your screen. Next, open the Radio Sky Spectrograph program. Place the program on the upper right side of your screen. Set the receiver type to RTL bridge slash TCP. Click on the identity menu. Is it filled with your information? If not, pause this video and fill in the blanks as well as you can. When completed, click on apply and exit. In the options menu, network, local connections ensure the lan ip address is set to 127.0.0.1 click on okay pause the video if you need more time to enter the settings resume the video when finished in the options menu file saving activate the items by clicking on them save on demand start saving on connection and the next to last item Append local name to the file names. Activated items will have a check mark in front of the item. Please make note of the data directory path. This is where your spectrograph.sps data files are stored. You can change this location if needed. In the options menu, program priority, set it to high. Next, in RSS on the right-hand side, set the RSS color offset to 500 and the RSS color gain to 1.2. Later, in the daytime, you can further adjust these two settings as needed to obtain a dark blue background with some white signals for an acceptable uncalibrated spectrograph. These last two RSS settings do not affect the data file you save. They only affect what you see on your computer monitor screen. Open the RSS Color menu tab. It is recommended that you load the AJ4CO color file. The AJ4CO rainbow icon will now appear at the bottom right of the spectrograph. Other RSS YouTube videos detail specific RSS settings, including using a schedule file, saving and opening a saved .sps file and other RSS features. Next, start RSS. You can use a schedule file to start RSS or simply click the RSS start button in the upper right corner. If RSS does not start painting a spectrograph after a few minutes, ensure the tiny RSS box in the upper left corner of SDR C2 RSS is checked. Feel free to view this video as often as necessary to review settings you might have missed. Enjoy your RSP-1B receiver for Radio Jove Radio Astronomy Education and Citizen Science Studies. Ask questions and find help at radiojovegroups.io.